Wild West has always been a great draw for gypsies and ramblers and lonely musicians who want to keep traveling west, west, west. Sitting in Joshua Tree, playing guitar. No matter how small Joshua Tree was then or now, it's not an intolerant society. It's not the small village that wishes to preserve a tradition and is scared of incoming crazy actors and musicians and writers. We're just sitting here on the porch playing guitar. We ain't got no to go. Why would you come out here on the edge of civilization? Just beyond that mountain over there, is the great Mojave. There is nothing for miles and miles and miles and miles. Sitting here in Joshua Tree, I ain't got nowhere to go. Well, what do I care? I'm happy. Here in the Joshua Tree Inn, which could be as famous as many Paris cafes were for the gathering of artists, behind me you see small hotel rooms. And in the 60s, it was not unusual that you could hear a guitar being played in every room. One room may be Keith Richard, the Rolling Stones. Another, Graham Parsons, may be Don Henley. And the most amazing music would be played in every room. There would you know, be different music and then people would all come out and sit around the pool and it was usually on a full moon too. It, um, the timing was often picked for it to be a full moon. It was extraordinary to walk in the early evening. The sun was going down around the pool here and you'd be hearing classic songs in the making. There would be the stones, the birds, the eagles. Uh, I mean, just everybody was taken. Um, to, to Joshua Tree. Everybody, I, I can, can't think of any musician that never went there. And especially when you used to get in the car and go on a dark desert highway, cool wind in your hair, with the top down or the window down, driving to somebody's home somewhere out there, it didn't really matter whether you arrived. It was so cool just to be here. I'm going to call this song the Joshua Tree Blues. And it's also true to say that up here in the high desert, people come here to live because they've had enough of bureaucracy, red tape, rules, regulations, and where we would be 10 minutes from an extraordinary wildlife sanctuary, which is just up behind us, the Joshua Tree National Monument. God is playing marvels with this planet and his stars creating havoc through my life with his influence on Mars. And although I say it's Joshua Tree National Monument, it's actually another planet. We visited another planet, and we needed to visit that planet. And on this picture, I can see Anita Pallenberg, and there's that Keith up there at the top doing something. And then Graham Parsons, right in the middle there, with his velvet pants on, playing a guitar. It was a pilgrimage, that's what I would say. I should be rolling down the sky away on my cosmic wheels, celestial wheels. And when I came down uh, with Linda, Ted Marklin was the guide and took us up. And he would meet up with Ted Marklin who was brought up in the desert, and he'd have his little bell, and he would we'd all take a mushroom or a smoke or something. It would be in the middle of the deep evening, between two and three in the morning, uh, when the mushrooms would begin to give us X-ray sight. And it was such incredible um, visual energy, and the mountains and the rocks, because you were... Um, in another dimension in your body, you'd almost 
be like them, the rocks. You would feel part of them because we're all made of little dots and all of a sudden you became a rock or if you lay down on a rock it would normally feel uncomfortable but you would melt into it. Cosmic meals, celestial meals. Cosmic meals, celestial meals. And just at the point before the sunrise, each of us seemed to have had uh, an out-of-body experience. And in the sky, there seemed to be extraordinary UFOs doing incredible things across a deep, deep desert sky. So it was like you were in the ocean, but it was, it was dry and, and deserty. And in the way that Ted introduced us to this great ritual of the dawn, I believe our path that we followed needed this expanded consciousness beyond pop music, beyond success, celebrity, England, America, beyond any of the other areas we'd come from. We experienced here, somewhere out there in that far distant landscape, there's a secret mountain where there was a door to another world. Cosmic meals, celestial meals, cosmic meals, celestial meals.